Hey, welcome to today's video. This is the uh, daily stock series for technical analysis, and I'm your host, Eric. Uh, I'm going to talk about Beyond Meat today, uh, symbol BYND. Um, today is October the 30th. I'm actually going to do a couple of recordings today uh, to pass out over the next uh, few days, but Beyond Meat should be an interesting one. This stock uh, actually IPO'd last summer, and then at the beginning of the summer, and as you can see, it just had a phenomenal run. I mean, if you look back in, uh, what would that be, early uh, May, uh, when it IPO'd around $45. I remember on my, I have an option trading podcast, and we looked at a trade that did make money around the $67 range. Um, shortly after that, you know, within weeks, within weeks, the stock price had doubled. I mean, it's super crazy. You normally don't see uh, stock prices go as uh, to the moon and back like this one did, uh, crossing uh, $220 barrier, almost $240 uh, per share. And now it's come all the way back down to $80. And as you see, we don't even have a year of trading. This is literally about a six-month chart. Uh, so this stock has uh, been the definition of volatility. Let's take a look at the uh, moving averages to see how those look. So I always like looking at the 10, the 20, and the 50. And when those are all three in order, like they are now, with the 50-day higher than the 20-day, which is higher than the 10-day, that's expected. Uh, that's an expected uh, source or, or, or kind of pattern for a downward move like what we've seen in this stock. Um, if we start to get some up movement in this stock though, you'll see that 10 day react and it can come all the way up to the 20. Right now the 20 day is pricing at about $118 per share with the 10 day pricing at $102 per share and the actual stock price closing at $88 um, per share. So you can see this, that is an indication that this this stock is really moving and moving lower quickly. You see the gap move it made a couple days ago, and this of course is earnings season, so a lot of stocks are seeing additional volatility. I would normally look at the uh, you know five year chart or something like that, but what you're looking at right now is the full time series, the full data series uh, of the stock because it really just uh, IPO'd about six months ago. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at the full retracement, the Fibonacci. Um, levels just to get a sense of how significant this retracement is. So to start off, you had that move from essentially $46 a share all the way up to about $235 a share. And now to be back at the $88 range, $89 range is a 78.6% uh, 78 retracement, um, which is one of the big uh, Fibonacci numbers. Now, it'll be interesting to see if it truly bounces here and has a few days of uh, upward momentum, or if it pushes lower, because um, that'll that'll give you a good idea of where this stock is heading. I do think if we push lower, um, you're going to see this thing fall all the way back to where it started around that forty-six dollars uh, per share level. And uh, well, I'll go ahead and keep going with the MACD. Uh, the MACD is actually um, not that valuable. Um, it's, it, it tends to be less valuable when you have long, like extended up or down movements like this. Uh, what we normally are looking for uh, in the MACD is a crossover pattern below the zero line or above the zero line. Like you see this crossover, this crossover above the zero line back in August is a is a key indication that a larger downward move is is nigh. But during this period um, in mid-August, late August through um, really early October, you see that um, the there are several crosses underneath the zero line. That would normally be an indication of a bullish uh, move, although we would expect, expect it to be uh, significantly lower, um, not so close to the zero line. But... Uh, MACD, you have to be careful for, uh, as well as the moving any moving average, just be aware of the possibility of getting some false signals. And uh, so I never base my trading um, theories, if you will, or, or thesis. My, my trading thesis typically is a combination of several, several different um, 
technical indicators, not just one, because any single uh, indicator has the possibility of giving you a false signal, uh, which could cost you money. So the last piece on this, um, and, you know, the analysis is rather simple because we have such a short amount of data. But what's interesting is that this $140 line, you can see a significant number of times where, where after it was crossed, it really did play uh, support. Um, that $140 price was support back in uh, mid-June. It was support in late June. It was support again in mid-August. It was support again um, back here in late September. And it, it wasn't until early October that the price finally, the momentum was finally strong enough to push below that. So what that lets me know is that there's some strong um, opinions or ideas around that level. And so if we were to get a pullback and go higher again, I think that $140 level could actually end up playing uh, resistance rather than support unless we quickly blast through it at which point I would expect it fully to play as support again. But man, we're you know trading around $89 a share right now. So uh, $140 seems quite far away. I mean, that's greater than a 50% move back. So all over, all, just a summary of Beyond uh, Meat uh, Corporation is that the stock, of course, has been trading lower since hitting its high of $240 back in uh, late July. Um, the moving average is is bearish, and that's fairly, you know, that's, that's expected over the move and, and given the uh, time series that we have. Um, the Fibonacci analysis, of course, shows that the stock has pulled back to the 78.6% level. Next stop is 100%, which is uh, the, the initial public um, offering price, you know, dropping all the way back to where it was on its very first day of trading. Um, the MACD... Uh, is, you know, of course, showing a bearish momentum, but it's really, we've been going in one direction so long that I really don't put a lot of stock into the MACD right now. Um, I am expecting that if the stock heads lower, that the support that we got at the $140 uh, level will become resistance. Oftentimes we see that uh, with stock when there's a, a level that becomes strong support or resistance um, when it is um, passed and the stock comes back to that level, oftentimes rather than being support, it becomes resistance, um, kind of uh, acting as something to keep the stock lower. Uh, and then, of course, if this stock goes lower, I expect to go all the way back down to its IPO price. Um, but really, as far as right now, I just say wait a few days, wait a little bit and see what this stock is going to do. Um, we had a strong move up um, and we also had a gap move. Let's Let's go back to the uh, to to the first chart actually, um, because this gap move uh, right here, where we dropped essentially from a hundred dollars and gap down to closer to eighty dollars before pulling back higher, um, I'm assuming that was on earnings. Um, normally, the stock will fill in that gap, and to be quite honest, if it were to go from eighty nine dollars to one hundred dollars a share over the next few days, that's a decent little clip of return even though it may not be large in terms of the scale of this stock. It's rare that you have, you know, stock prices, you have share prices go from $46 to $200, you know, $40 in the, within a, a three-month time frame. So the scale of this stock is all screwed up. But if you were to expand that out, you know, picking up, you know, $12 on $89 a share, that's that's a pretty strong move. So, be on the lookout for that um, price movement to pull on up to $100, and we'll see what happens beyond that. Huh, I said beyond. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I don't want to say any more cheesiness. You'll hear dad jokes come out soon. Hope you guys are having a great day. Happy trading.